Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Anniversary Special Edition Hyperdimensional Carp against Majin Buu, Gotenks Absorbed and we're going to see just how good basically or you know why you should do it. So one of the main benefits to this or the changes they made is you only have to do one attempt per day. You get Battle Bananas but you also get a really cool equip and you get the Z Power for Android 18. So this is kind of the big ticket item. Getting the Z Power for Android 18 is pretty clutch and pretty important. So it's something you're going to need for the anniversary food tour. Uh, it's something you're going to need pretty much in general for a lot of the content. So getting the Battle Bananas, getting Android 18, and just being able to obviously max everything out. Is pretty good. On top of that, there are some missions that will give you Chrono Crystals for attempting and completing a certain number of attempts of the stage. And on top of that, as well, you also get the currency from the event, which you can use to exchange for some Chrono Crystals. Taking on the event itself is pretty simple. You need battle bonus characters, and you need one blue and one yellow. Android 18 herself counts, so that makes your life a lot easier. In terms of support units, you can choose whoever you want. Generally speaking though, you want them to be leveled and fully soul boosted. Please, please, please guys, please respect yourself and respect the other players that are playing the game mode. And make sure that you have two units that are battle bonus and of the correct typing. It is not impossible to have two units that are battle bonus units and correct typing units. You should at least have these as a bare minimum before you attempt hyperdimensional co-op. It changes a hyperdimensional co-op run from being a 3 minute painful experience to being a 2 minute clean sweep that makes your life incredibly easy. When you don't do this you make it harder for yourself and for other players. So all you have to do is level and soul boost 2 units. You don't have to arts boost or do anything like that. It's very very straightforward. Now the hyperdimensional co-op itself is very very easy. Anyone who hasn't done a hyperdimensional co-op before obviously uh, it might be a little bit you know perturbed I guess but generally speaking it's a pretty simple experience uh, all you have to consider doing to cut a long story short is basically making sure that you knock out the boss's blue shield and then when the shield is down you hit a rising rush with your ally at the exact same time and then you'll have a pretty good time honestly speaking that's really honestly about it it's really, really, really straightforward. So yeah, for me, um, it's a very simple stage. For anyone who is new to it, please make sure that you just break the shield and then hit your rising rush at the same time. As long as you've got battle bonus characters, chances are you're probably gonna defeat the boss super duper easily and you're gonna make your life far simpler. With that being said, of course, please understand that, uh, you know, if you don't defeat the boss straight away, you do have to probably go through another cycle, and that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, it's at the most a two minute experience. At the very least, it can be like 40 seconds. Beyond that, there's not too much else really to mention. Uh, the stage itself, very simple. The benefits right now will be mainly just farming the Z Power for Android 18. You don't need to farm her too much. Uh, to be honest with you, it's not like something you have to do. Farming her is helpful, but not necessary. It can help you with her challenge battle uh, and help with using her for other events later on. But if you just do the limited time attempts and get her friendship to max, chances are you're probably fine. If you need more help on Android 18, you can watch my Fierce Fight video. Remember, you can exchange your hyperdimensional coins for Chrono Crystals if you are desperate to summon. And yeah, that's realistically about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.